So Hard Knocks in season has begun. And you can watch that on HBO. I forgot it was even on. I kind of stumbled across it. I was like, oh, that's on. And the in-season one, I contend, is the best of the yeah, cause hard you knocks. Well, you don't get the stupid, you don't get the stupid, like, uh, what would you say? like the, the training camp preview stuff? Yeah, every time you do the training camp thing, everyone's the greatest team on earth, and yeah. every rookie is going to be the best player in NFL history. Yeah. And they do these emotional stories, and it's just, get out of here. And it's they really yeah, they really lean in on the unique personal story about the guy who might make the 53-man. Yes. And while that was fun for a while, no one cares anymore. Yeah, this is really good because they are up to date, like as best they can. Yeah, it's week thirteen. Yeah, they they show the so the first episode came out and they are talking about and showing the preparation for the games that we just had. Yeah, which was Philly played Baltimore, Cincinnati played Pittsburgh, and then Cleveland played at Denver. Yeah, and they did the I and mean, so it's cool to see the. Yeah. I, I just think it's cool to see the footage. Now, granted, we already know what happens in the game. Sure, but. It, it's just that piece of it makes it yeah. much more interesting. Yeah, to they, the watch. series started with all the the, the coaches because they they jump around. Although Cleveland was shown for about eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a lot of famous Jameis. No, uh, Cleveland clearly took Being a, back, a man of increase backseat to the other three. But yeah, you, you, it starts off with the coaches addressing yeah. uh, each of their teams leading into Week Thirteen. Yeah, and as you uh, and we talked about it off the air, so I I knew where you were going, but. Yeah. Um, the the guy who steals the show. Yeah. It's not even close. It really isn't close. No. He is such a badass. Yep. Is Mike Tomlin. Yes. And he's great. Watching Mike Tomlin sit in a in a coach's meeting mm -hmm. with his stocking cap on and his beard. <laughs> The only thing he's missing is his sunglasses yeah. that he wears when he's on the sideline. I love that he's got two. He's, he's wearing like Ray Ban aviators yes. too. He's he is just... such a badass. Yeah. Just listening to him in the in the meetings yeah. is just I can't get enough of it. He's no. commanding. He, he is. commands a he, room. He, oh, he with media is. with teams. He's great. Well, he's and he doesn't say a lot, but when he speaks, he's he's a really interesting leader in that you can tell just by one episode. You can tell that one he is immensely respected there mm -hmm. but two he's not, he just he sort of um he says one or two things and pats you on the butt and says go do your job yeah. i just think he's 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 awesome yeah and i mean the way he handled george pickens the way mm -hmm. he opens up uh invites everyone over for thanksgiving like he just it, it, and the could, coaches meetings he'll just sit there and he'll be like well, so you think that like he he gets input from all his his uh you know his coordinators and stuff, yeah. but then he's like so um you know I, I don't know for example I forget what exactly they were talking about, but he's like so you think uh, we need to we need to be better in this spot or do you think we need to be? he just he kind of asks them he kind of leads them yeah. to where he wants them to prepare the team for the game yes which is kind of cool he is if you want to know why he he doesn't have losing seasons and why he's still there and why people say he's the most respected coach in football, you watch one episode of this and you will yeah. immediately fall in love and want to play with Mike Tomlin. And uh, and he's not a, a necessarily the next is an O's guy, but this is what we were talking about with like the, the NFL believing that the culture thing, that Dan Campbell is like this, Mike Tomlin is like this, the Jim Harbaugh's are like this. Um, they're just unique personalities. And I, I've said this before, and... Uh, I got a very brief glimpse because Mike Tomlin was a very, very young coach when I was with the Buccaneers for the year and a half I was there. He was like our secondary coach. He was not a, a key figure on that staff at all. In fact, he ran our scout team. So I would deal with Tomlin a lot because I was that's all I did was on the scout team. And I could have told you after my brief little stint there that Mike Tomlin was meant for big things. Even then, I just I never wanted to disappoint him. Of all the coaches there, and that was a really good staff in Tampa. When you look at John Gruden, and, and we had uh, Jay Gruden was on that. and uh, Was Monty Kiffin still there? Monty Kiffin was still there, and uh, Rich Basaccia was oh. on that staff. Whoa. Hell yeah. Uh, who was the guy that ended up being the Lions coach? Um, uh, Schwartz? Uh, no, it was it was the it was a it was our defensive line coach ended up being the head coach uh, with the Lions, whose name is escaping me right now. Um, but another head coach came off of that. It was a really really good staff, and I'm telling you, if you asked any of those players who was the most respected coach on that staff, even as a young guy, they would have said Mike Tomlin. Dude, that guy was meant to be an NFL coach, and it's really cool to see him. Marinelli. 
Yes, Rob Marinelli was Rob on Marinelli. that staff too. I mean, it was just littered with former NFL head coaches. Well, he's clearly a strong leader. Yes, and Tomlin was just had that, and you it just it just comes out in spades. Yeah, he's awesome. The Steelers, you know, the Steelers have gone twenty one straight seasons. Well, they haven't had a winning record for twenty one straight seasons because they've gone five hundred a few times, but they've gone twenty one straight non losing seasons. Yeah, is the way to say that. Yeah, which is the second longest ever. Yeah. behind the old Cowboys and I the love Tom that, Landry Cowboys. And I love that there were still some talking heads out there recently talking about how the game had passed Mike Tomlin by. Or, well, I think a lot of people know. don't like that he's so conservative, yeah. and he is conservative. Yeah. Like if if there's one knock on Tomlin, it's like, dude, you you need to maybe. Open up a little bit more to the analytics. The it's sometimes down like stuff. it feels like he protects against mistakes more than going for yes. something he can exploit. Yes, but you know it's hard to tell him to change <laughs> when he's been so damn successful. Yeah, he does have a Super Bowl too. Yeah, I mean he's but like like Sean Payton gets a Super Bowl, and like if Sean Payton farts on someone, then it's like he's anointed. It's true. You know Jim Harbaugh, right? Jim Jim Harbaugh's never won a Super Bowl, and yet we don't give Tomlin. The same amount of 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 admiration and kind of yeah we don't the the aura and and I don't know I don't know what Mike Tomlin has to do and maybe this I don't know it's silly because he doesn't want to do it. There's that great clip of Tomlin ripping off his mic after the game. Have you seen that going? That around? I've seen going viral. I yeah. haven't seen that. He's but... standing in front of the locker room as the players are coming in. And Tomlin realizes that he's mic'd up. For like the, he's gonna hand it back over to like the HBO staffer or whatever. He just he just rips it off of him, and the players are like making fun of him. He's like, "You shut the f up." He's, he's like, like "Whoa, you was you were mic'd up, coach." He's like, "Shut your ass up." <laughs> he's like, "Shut your ass up." He's like, rips it off him. He just, I he's just, awesome. I just want Tomlin. After all these years, I want Tomlin to get his due, and I do think that as silly as it is, this series, I, I, I'm hoping wakes people up to the sort of leader that that he is.